How Water Impacts Storefront Systems. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101, learning how to properly construct aluminum framing systems to limit water infiltration in this short video. We will consider everything from drain paths, water deflectors, to subsill weeps. So how do frames handle water? Very simply put, they all have a drain path, and the drain path is how water is controlled in the system. Years ago, we tried to build frames that were waterproof that kept water out, found that that was very, very difficult to do. What was much easier was to plan for water, anticipate water getting into the system, and design your system so that they control water and weep it to the exterior. So all systems are going to have what we call a drain path. Drain path of storefronts is going to look like this. As water hits the elevation, there is a chance that it can get into the frames. So we consider here on top of the horizontal a wet area, and we anticipate that water can get in there, so we plan for that water. Water is going to flow along the horizontal, as you see here, and then down the vertical, and it will weep out at the sill. So here's a very important piece of a storefront system. This is called a water deflector. And I would say probably the number one cause of failures in storefront systems is this piece being left out or not installed correctly. This has caused more problems in the field. So for subcontractors, don't take it for granted that your guys in the field know what this piece is. Make sure they all understand what it is. If they don't appreciate and understand how important this piece is, it's going to be easy for it to be omitted in the field. But this is your water deflector. We're going to start by putting some silicone underneath it so we can adhere it to the end of the horizontal and then position it correctly so it's sticking over the edge of the horizontal and into the vertical that the horizontal is attached to. Then at that point, we're going to seal along the edges of it so that water is given only one path to go, and that is over the edge of the deflector. Because if you notice here, the horizontal stops when it meets the vertical. But your insulated glass unit projects another three eighths of an inch into the vertical. So if water ran right off the end of the horizontal, it would wind up on top of the insulated glass unit. And if water sits on top of the insulated glass unit, the secondary seals are going to fail and the warranty on the glass is going to be voided. So the water deflector is very, very critical to the performance of the system because it's going to keep water off of the glass by diverting water away from the edge to the center of the vertical and then the water is going to flow down the vertical member to the sill. Once it reaches the sill, it'll collect in the subsill flashing and then weep to the exterior. So in your subsill flashing, when it's installed, we're going to have our water dam sealed up here on the interior, and then we're going to put an end dam at the end of it. So you can see the screw splines here. Those are for receiving an end dam. So we're going to put an end dam on there because we're creating a trough that's going to collect water and only give water one way out, and that's through weep holes here. So any water that gets into the subsill flashing, and we anticipate water is going to be there. This is considered a wet area, but we're giving it one way out, and that is through the weep holes drilled in the front of the subsill. And notice where the water exits the subsill is to the exterior of the dry line. So water in the frames is behind the dry line in the building envelope. When it weeps out, it weeps to the exterior of the dry line. So looking at this, now you can see the end dams on the subsill flashing. So again, I mentioned we we're building a trough, and that trough is going to be to collect and hold water. And once the water is there, we're only going to give it one path out, and that's to the exterior. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.